the last conversation I had with her was, good night, mommy, I love you. Five o'clock in the morning, I woke up to the sound of the TV falling. I did not know she was underneath it. So I called her name, Janiyah, Janiyah, where are you? And I turned around and I just saw her legs under the TV. You just don't think of televisions or bolting your dressers to the wall. Mm -hmm. You don't think of those things. They don't tell you to do that when you get out of the hospital with your baby. You need a car seat, but they don't tell you when your child starts walking, make sure your furniture is bolted down. The majority of furniture tip-over injuries occur in the home to children five years and younger. Most devastating injuries that we see to children because of furniture tip-over are injuries to the brain and also when a child is trapped underneath a heavy piece of furniture and suffocates. And the most important thing for parents to know is that most, if not all, of these injuries are preventable. I urge parents to include securing TVs, furniture, and appliances in their childproofing efforts. Taking a few moments now to anchor and secure TVs, furniture, and appliances can prevent a tip-over tragedy later. A television can be a child's best friend but it can also be a parent's worst enemy.